Hey guys, Coach Sue with Physique Development here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a training journal or a log book. A very, very important thing, and one of my favorite things in my gym bag is having a log book, and I don't have it. I've even had Alex send me over a picture of it if I by chance leave it at home. Um, it's something that's really, really helped with my progression, and since I started keeping a log book, I've seen better progression, as well as being able to keep a better headspace about training. When you're going through training, there's gonna be different stimulus in play, there's going to be different tempo, different layout of your training sessions, and having a logbook takes the guesswork out of a lot of that. Um, there's times where I know the ballpark of what I'm lifting, but it's really cool to be able to see it laid out exactly in front of me. Hey, last time you did this exercise, you did it at this weight, um, at this RP, at this tempo, with this rest period, and being able to go off of that, whether it's the same training uh, day again, and being able to improve from that and see and take notes from it. It's very important for me to be able to be like, hey, Sue, you suck do better next time, uh, make little notes to myself that are encouraging as well, or when I say this weight was good, stay at this, or again, do better next time, go up, you can handle more weight, or if I make a note, if I had a spot that time, if I was using wrist wraps, if I had uh, help with my grip strength, whatever it may be, being able to make notes in this, and then being able to track my progression. Like I said, I know the ballpark of what I'm doing, but I don't wanna get to the gym and play guesswork and accumulate volume that I could be using that to hit different kinds of PRs um, and be able to improve in that way. And when I talk about different stimulus, let's say you're going through a metabolic phase where there's lots of supersets, a short amount of rest, and then you go into something like a neurological phase where you have to track the fact that you're having much longer rest periods, much less sets, and so there's going to be a strength curve. It's not necessarily like, hey, I just hit a 50 pound PR. It's, hey, in this neurological phase compared to my past neurological phase and how I progress within the different phases allows me to see progress there. So it's something that's going to be absolutely so beneficial for your progress, for making sure you're progressively overloading, for being able to make notes for yourself to track everything. Because at the end of the day, oftentimes people don't keep enough data on the progress. And so they get fed up and they think that they're not making progress when they're able to go back into something like an Excel spreadsheet or a log book, be able to track their weight trends, being able to track their weights in the gym and be able to see that progress is actually being made. So keeping data is really going to help you on those times where you get a little bit too subjective. And it's also going to help you be more efficient in the gym and be able to progress better in the gym as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or want to check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.